Okay, hi. So, um, quick life update. If you've been following me on Patreon or Instagram stories, or I also posted on Facebook, um, you might be aware that I'm currently on crutches. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd just give the story about that. So basically what happened um, Saturday night, um, I was moving a dog bed. So Marley the Labrador has this little dog bed, which uh, our, our previous Labrador used to sleep on as well. And it's got these like little metal feet, right? And um, mum had moved it away so that Mikey could sit in a particular spot, which was kind of unnecessary because there is enough space, but whatever. So I was moving it back for Marley to sleep on again, and I was just a little bit clumsy, and instead of hitting the floor, it hit my foot. Um, yeah, and so that night was okay, like it was painful. I thought it was just one of those things, like you know you bump something, and then you're like, oh my god, that hurts a lot, but in a few seconds it's fine. I thought it was like that. Um, but no, as, as the evening went on, like it was still sore and I was having trouble walking on, I was limping a little bit and, um, yeah, it started to feel really stiff. So like I cracked my knuckles and stuff and I can crack my toes a little bit. And so I was trying to do that and it just kept feeling like it needed to be cracked. And I also tried massaging it and I did basically everything that you shouldn't do. So yeah. Um, but you know, I was still able to walk at that point. I was just sort of leaning on the, um, inside part rather than where it actually did so the part I, I'm not taking my sock off because I know there's like weird feet people out there but um basically it hit around here and there's like a little bit of a bruise but it doesn't look so bad today um so this is where it's sore and then this is where I was able to um do a bit of weight bearing and also like on my heel I could do that but then the next morning I woke up and I had to pee and this is like at 5 30 in the morning when no one was awake except Mikey yelling down the corridor anyway so I try and go to the bathroom and the moment I tried to put my foot down on the floor, I was just like, shit, I can't walk because it's just too painful. Um, so I basically had to crawl my way to the toilet and then do my business and then crawl back to bed. And then I get on the phone and send a message to mum and dad like, help guys, I can't walk. Um, and um, apparently, apparently mum thought like it was a neurological thing, like I'm saying I can't walk because of like somehow just like that. They didn't think I actually had an injury. But yeah, no, so Sunday morning, um, they, they took me up to the hospital around 8.30ish. And um, luckily, being, I guess being a Sunday morning, there wasn't too many people in there. So I pretty much got straight through to um, talk to someone in the waiting room. I didn't have to sit down or anything. And they looked at me and um, I didn't even have to wait after that. Someone came straight through to take me to fast track. Um, I don't really know what that means, but... Um, yeah, so then I get through, they sit me down on this reclining chair so I could elevate the foot because apparently you're supposed to do that. Um, and then I went for x-rays and well, all of this I, I sort of live posted on um, Patreon lenses, but yeah. Um, oh my god, uh, the x-ray was fine, it's pretty easy, you know, it's easier than the last time. I think a long time ago when I was in um, high school I did my, uh, like, the toe... I think it was the pinky toe on my other foot and um yeah no so that time when they did the x-ray i remember they had put all these weights around my foot and whatever but this time i just sort of hopped up on the thing they got me to move my leg in a few different angles i don't know if it's because i'm an adult or if because the technology has changed but yeah it was pretty easy like i got a wheelchair ride to the x-ray room as well because there's no way i was going to make it that fast on these things um and then what after a while after waiting for a bit that got wheeled back to fast track and then after a while a doctor came and poked at my foot a little bit and was like was this hurt does this hurt what happened blah 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 and um yeah then the next part was when i did most of the waiting is like waiting for someone to look at the x-rays and just confirm and i think that took about two hours and i was so tired because i'm not a morning person so i brought a book to read but i just couldn't concentrate so i sort of spent most of the time lying around um i got to experience accessible toilets the way that they're intended to be used so um yeah you know like when you go into disabled toilets and whatever and they have all those bars and stuff yeah that was actually handy um <clears throat> but yeah it was just a lot of waiting around and then they came out and gave me the um discharge papers and they're like so there's nothing broken yay as far as they can see though so they're gonna get a radiologist to look at it and i'm still waiting for the results on that but i'm pretty sure it's not broken um so the report i mean it says bunch of you know just stuff about me I had to answer questions like do I speak English yes I do speak English that was my favorite question anyway so um blah 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 presented to this facility with injured lower limb blah 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 um presents with persistent right foot pain and difficulty in weight bearing to a RLL which I think is right lower limb 
using crutches from brother. Oh yeah, so these crutches, um, Dave, one of my brothers, he plays a lot of sport and has had injuries, so we just have these crutches lying around. You can see that I've modified it with um, a bit of a towel because the plastic handles were so hard. That was the hardest thing um, after like, so on Sunday when my parents came to check on me, they got me, got me these out and um, yeah, they're pretty good. It's just like holding onto these my palms get really sore and even with the towel it's pretty bad but it's not as bad as when it was just the plastic so yeah that's why I've modded that up um so they're like little elbow ones where you put your hand in like that um I was a bit confused because at first I thought it was like that but you can't really do anything that way so like this and then you just sort of hobble around um but yeah no that's why we've got those <laughs> oh my god I'm I'm so tired from having to n n n um you know like um, Dave's actually overseas at the moment on holiday, but we've been keeping in touch on Facebook and um, he made the comment that I had to get injured to do more exercise, which is kind of true. Like usually, I mean, I might go for a walk every now and then, but I don't exercise enough. Whereas with these, I feel like I'm at the gym constantly. I've got like muscle pain all around this sort of area. And then also my hands hurt and it's just like, I go somewhere, go to the kitchen and then I'm tired get back to my room and then I'm tired and then I don't want to move and all that so it's kind of messed up um, my productivity in that sense but anyway what else do they say um, oh yesterday evening dropped a uh, dog bed on top of foot as she was lowing to ground yeah so documenting my clumsiness now there's a section called O and E which I guess is like observation evaluation maybe I don't know um, so it says using crutches to weight bear noted uh, around two by three centimeter bruise region to base of fifth R metatarsal tender to same. Um, I don't really know what that means, but like I sort of know what it means. Do you know, like I, I just, yeah, I think I know what they're talking about. It's like that, that sort of bone area um, around there on the side, like on my pinky. I don't know if you know what it is, you can look it up, whatever. Um, and then this one, yeah dorsalis pedis pulses palpable. I don't know what that means. Um, and sensation normal. And then they've like taken some stuff about my, my medical history and then what IX, um, maybe that's to do with the x-ray. So, oh yeah, foot and ankle x-ray, no fracture alongside of cubid, cuboid bone, nil tala dome shift, nil ATFL avulsion, nil malleola fracture so i'm all good and what they've said to me to do is um weight bear is tolerated with crutches follow up with gp in two to three days which i've done um and she's going to email me the final report um please chase formal xr report oh mm. simple analgesia para analgesia um paracetamol and ibuprofen um if new symptoms develop or you have concerns please seek medical attention or return for, to ed for um assessment Oh, so that's 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 all the stuff they've said there. Um, the hospital it was it was pretty easy. Like I think just because of the time that I went, you know, Sunday morning, there's not much happening there. It did start to get busier as the day went on though. Um, and then coming home when my parents picked me up again, we went to Macca's. So you know, I got some Macca's out of it, didn't I? Anyway, yeah, no, it's it's inconvenient um, trying to get around the house in crutches everywhere. Oh. And, um, I, it's like, I'm coping okay. Um, but yeah, it just makes a lot of things a lot harder and I get tired faster. So, um, you know, I think the main things that's difficult is trying to make myself something to eat in the kitchen because like I have to balance and stuff and I'm reasonably good with my balance. I mean, you know, I used to do things like ballet and gym and whatever. So that's no problem. It's just like, you know, I've got to get in a space where I can reach the fridge and reach the kitchen table and then like sort of convey things so I get as many things out as I can to chuck on the table and then I get the things and move move to the middle of the table and then I can open drawers and stuff and get my plates and my cutlery and then I have to like shuffle everything around to the other end of the table so that I can move it to where I actually eat and then put a chair in between the two different tables so that I can kneel. If I can kneel, then I can use my hands. Instead of this, it's so hard to carry anything with these. I try using a bag, but not everything fits in a bag. Anyway, so I get, I'm kneeling and then I get like a na 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 and there's all my stuff. And then I arrange the chairs so I can keep my leg up. And, um, oh, what an ordeal. And then I have to do the same thing in the reverse to take things back to the kitchen to put them in the dishwasher. Oh my God. And, um, 
Yeah, so I can't take my tea to my room, which is a bit of a tragedy because I like to have tea while I'm working on stuff. But uh, in the evenings, um, Dad's been helping me carry stuff to my room. But uh, yeah, no, I can't really carry anything that might spill because this is just like, I'm, I'm you know, if it's just me, it's relatively stable, but I don't have hands free. What I really need is like a little drone or something with a little tray to just follow me around and carry all my stuff for me. Um, but yeah, so it, it's inconvenient and I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to be able to do this artwork I've been planning because like, you know, it's not just painting. If it was just painting, I could just sit there, but I've got like other little bits and pieces and I feel like I need to put things out to dry and whatever. And I just don't know that it's going to be doable. I've been trying to, I, I wanted to get all this stuff done in time for, um, to try and get into an exhibition. But it might not happen this year and I've been questioning the whole visual arts thing anyway because if I'm being real, painting is kind of stressful. I don't know how much I really enjoy it so I'm sort of having that thought this year like is that something that I should maybe do a bit less and maybe prioritise the things I do like such as making videos and singing and whatever. Um, but yeah, no, so the art making, I don't know how that's gonna go. Oh, um, did I, what did, they, did I say? Did they say it in here? Yeah, no, so um, with the, the crutches and stuff, um, apparently when, when the doctor came back to give me my discharge papers, he's like, yeah, so um, just keep your weight off it for two to four weeks. Two to four weeks, are you kidding? That's so long and it's not even broken. I don't think it'll take that long to be honest because like since I took my weight off it instead of walking around like an idiot like I did on Saturday, since I took the weight off it, um, it hasn't been hurting as much like on Sunday morning it was just like there was a sort of constant pain there but um yesterday uh, not so bad because I've been sensible about it um every now and then I do try and put it on the floor just to see just to see how painful it is or I do try and flex my toes it trying to flex the toes is um a little bit painful if I try and spread like the pinky out um but yeah no I have a reasonable amount of movement if I can try um so what like Mm -mm. Ow, ow. <laughs> I can do that. That's not too bad. Um, sideways, not too bad. Flexing the toes. I can go a little bit. I don't want to push it too hard though. Um, so I have more movement than I did on Sunday, I reckon. Um, so, you know, we're making progress towards it recovering. Yes, I have cute little moo moo sock or whatever it is. Um, just because yesterday while I was working at the computer, um, it was starting to feel really cold and I got a little bit concerned about the circulation. If you think about it, like I hit something there and obviously it's, you know, some of the blood vessels have popped a little bit and that's what the bruise happened. And um, I just sort of worried a bit about the circulation. So yeah, I put a fluffy sock on, even though it's summer in Australia, like it's actually fluffy. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, yeah, no, so I'm, I'm able to move it a bit more. It's just like if you touch it, Sort of here and here too hard um it, it does hurt but being sensible it doesn't throb so much anymore um and i'm getting there so i think i'm hoping it'll just be a week before i don't know it is a bit puffy still and i can feel because it's sort of swallowed up some of the skin is a bit tight um so yeah i'm i'm not game enough to try and put an actual shoe on it now in terms of work so i've got two casual jobs at the moment um, the easiest one is like the work from home finance job because I'm working from home. Main thing is I had to install the software on my computer downstairs rather than the one I was working on upstairs. Um, but that turned out to be easier than I thought. Um, and I also can't print anything because the, the... I mean, I have an inkjet printer, but the inkjets are shit and like the, the ink's always running out. And yeah, no. So um, the laser printers, we've got two laser printers and they're both upstairs. Well done. Um, yeah, and I'm not going upstairs like this. I would have to crawl up the stairs because it's just too tiring on these things. And I'm just like, yeah, no. So instead of printing the stuff that I need to print, I've been taking notes about what should be on each thing and then sending it off. And if they want the hard copies, they can do it themselves. Um, yeah, so that's been all right. Um, as for my bonsai jobs, I haven't had a bonsai shift yet, but I did talk to my boss and, um, you know, explain what's going on and he's a really easy going guy and it turns out we were just going to be doing pruning anyway because we've gotten through a lot of customers trees lately. Um, really good. So yeah, it's just going to be a lot of pruning and pruning can be quite time consuming, but you don't have to move around so much. I can just like, if I need to prune something up high, I can just kneel because, um, you know, kneeling is easy. 
um, rather than just sitting. So I will be able to do some of that stuff. It is just like carrying stuff. I can't really carry with these things. And so, yeah, no, I think, I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I think we'll be all right. Um, the one thing my mum's disappointed about is because um, my brother's overseas, I was gonna use his car to drive myself to Bonsai, but because it's my right foot um, and I can't really put weight on it, um, I can't press down on the accelerator or the brakes. And, you know, I, I would not try and drive left footed. <laughs> I'm not that coordinated. So yeah, um, I can't drive myself, so she's gonna be driving me. Um, yeah and so that's that's basically where i'm at is it's a little bit tricky to do things and so i mean there's stuff like i wanted to film i've got a couple of videos coming up that i've mostly edited um to do with bonsai and some other gardening things and i, I just need to finish updating like filming one last update and now i can't because i can't hold anything and move at the same time so that's a little bit annoying um but i can just sit on my butt and edit the other stuff i posted on um patreon a list of like all the things that i filmed i think i missed a couple there's a couple other things i could probably put up there um I just, yeah, I think they're not, oh, did I transfer them to the alien yet? I don't know. I've got a lot of videos coming up. Oh, by the way, thank you everyone for voting in the poll. It was really interesting. At the beginning, it looked like, um, it looked like the music was going to win, but then it sort of evened out towards the end between, um, what music, dark lifestyle and the ramble vlogs slash live streaming. And, um, we still got some votes as well for bonsai and gaming slash tech. So yeah, I don't know. I, I've got to think about it a bit more. I don't know how I'm going to put that into a strategy. So please bear with me for the moment. I'm just going to work on the stuff that's already filmed, um, especially because it's like trying to drag the tripod in here was enough of a pain. So I'm probably not going to film anything new um, until my foot's recovered. <laughs> Oh, how clumsy. I haven't I haven't done anything like this to myself probably since high school because I'm not really that active to be honest. So, um, you know, like I don't play sport, don't get myself into situations where I might hurt myself properly. So, yeah, it's just these dumb accidents. And that one in high school was just a dumb accident. I was just running through a doorway and I don't know, nicked the side of the door and there you go, broken toe um, on the other foot. But yeah, so I'm getting better at balancing on my left foot and I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm doing some workout. Holy shit. <sighs> I get tired thinking about it and I'm sort of like, now I have to stand up and take this back to my computer so I can edit it. But anyway, so I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on in my life right now. And um, yeah, so I'll just try and work on a bunch of stuff. And then we'll see how the rest of the year goes. <laughs> Welcome to 2020. Hmm.